Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Dark Knight Rises Bat Pod from Hot Toys. Now, it comes outside of the shipper box with its own cardboard box. So we'll open this up and take a look at what's inside. Now this top piece holds the uh, little cape holder and the instruction manual. And uh, I'll flip open this here to get a look at that pod itself. Take the little handlebar things out. And, uh, that's how you take that out. There's a little piece right here that comes out too. All right, before I put the little arm pieces on, I'm gonna put the batteries in because I have a feeling these arm pieces might get in the way and I don't want to risk breaking anything because this plastic isn't terribly sturdy. It looks like that screw is kind of hard to reach, but uh, this little piece lifts up so you can access the screw better. Now it requires two AAA batteries and without screwing it in, I just want to show you how this would all come back together. So now we'll put the arm pieces on, and there's these little rods that you can attach in advance that line up to that little hole in the pole. I would recommend you guide it with one finger as you pop on the top end here. Ah, there it goes. Just be careful how hard you press on it. Other than that, there you go. Under the bottom of the bat pod is a little on off switch, which turns on the lights. And here's how you can unlock the wheels. This one has a two point. One point reaches into that silver side piece, the other one pulls out from there and that's how it locks back in that way you don't let this thing roll around if you're just displaying it you don't want it like rolling off like the side of your display stand or something you could do some serious damage to it back one here it's like a little thumbtack just fits right into that hole there and you have free wheeling and then locked there's a lot of good detail on the bat pod. I mean, right up front, you've got these uh, black metal guns and this machine gun here that have like a gray scoring painted onto them. Same thing with this little valve thing here. As far as good paint goes, I like that even the interior of the tire has uh, like silver bolts painted on. Here's a closer look at the sides. Where it starts to get interesting for me is all these wires here. That seems to me like a lot of work to try to assemble. I think they did a great job. And I really like the painting on this metal grate here. There's a lot of great, like, fake metal painting that I think they did a great job here. This foot pad's a really good example of that. I think they did an awesome job with these little foot pads here. I mean, if you didn't know that that wasn't plastic, you'd swear that these were metal plates. And of course the uh, the rubber of the tire reads perfectly and I like that it's been painted and distressed because it's obviously been driven on for quite a while. Now this comes with a little strap that goes across the back of Batman's little back piece. Hopefully that stays. Now what that's for is to hold this little cape thing into place. And this ridge fits right along here. Hopefully, this doesn't pop out. 
and it did not. Awesome. Now, you flip the cape over this uh, doohickey, and that kind of holds a pattern for the cape to like fit onto. That way it's not just dragging across the uh, back of the bat pod. It actually looks like it's kind of flying a bit. And it's got these little cuts in it. Uh, right here, you see how it splits open a bit. Those cuts are for you to kind of tuck the cape into. So we'll try that now. Just kind of use it as a mold. And kind of get that effect. The Batman DX12 comes with an EMP gun with this little clip that's meant to attach to the back right pedal of the bat pod. And it just clips on like so. So here's Batman riding the bat pod, and I gotta admit that it looks pretty cool. Now, I had to cheat a little bit here. Um, I had a hard time getting his right and left leg to bend the way I want. So his left leg is bent and it looks pretty good on the bat pod. His right leg though is pretty straight. I also had to cheat considerably on the uh, hands here. Every time I tried to put his hand on the handle grips, these things just would pop right off. So I cheated here, but for the most part, looks pretty cool. Now I've been trying to get Catwoman on here for a bit and uh, every time I get her legs in a spot where I would like them, she can't seem to reach the handles and if I get her to reach the handles, the handles pop off and then I can't get her legs to reach. At least they could reach but they don't hit the foot pads right and I can't bend the legs properly to get her on. Maybe there are better Hot Toys collectors out there that can get her to sit on this properly but uh, I think I'm just going to have her kind of sit on this. <laughs> like that because I can't get her to reach the handlebars. So here's the pose I ended up settling on with Catwoman. I'd say this turned out pretty good. Catwoman looks great on it. The Batman cape effect with the DX12 and that cape mold turned out pretty cool. A lot cooler than I was expecting. I like the way it looks. And I like the way this looks. There's a lot of great little paint detail. The rubber tires, all the wiring. It's a really nice piece. And if you're able to get it and you're thinking about it, I can easily recommend it. It's, it's going to look great in your collection if you're a uh, Dark Knight Trilogy fan. Thanks for watching.